Good afternoon, everybody. Tyler Rowland here at Blue Ridge School, and what an event it's been. Back-to-back -back weekends of basketball, and you can see behind me some of the, this is some of the banners hanging across this gym, but Blue Ridge now four straight state titles in basketball. And with me is our head coach and one of the key organizers of this event, Cade Lemke. And Cade, good to see you here. Talk about, as we finish up, talk about this event and what it's meant to you, how it, how it went this year, and your thoughts. Yeah, thank you, Tyler. I think it's, it, was a, it was a successful event in a bunch of different respects. You know, our whole goal here uh, in the state of Virginia is to provide a, a platform for you know, high schools here and uh, other neighboring schools as well to get to play in front of uh, college coaches, scouting services, other members of the media to put their best foot forward for, uh, for exposure and take advantage of the uh, live period that the NCAA has in place for high school players to, to compete. Um, you know, I think it was a, a great group of teams these last two weekends. We, um, with our facility here of having three courts under, under one roof, I think it's a great opportunity for, you know, for teams to come, compete, and play in front of coaches. And you never know, you know who, gets, who gets noticed, who gets spotted, and how that could potentially change one of these kids' lives uh, forever. And one player, you mentioned that, who gets spotted. One player I have to ask, since this is a Blue Ridge guy, Sebastian Bosquez, the game winner he had. Talk about him and what he's meant to this program. Yeah, so Sebastian's a, a rising junior, class of 2024, from uh, Panama City, Panama, international student. And, um, you know, this was his first opportunity to step in and take on a bigger role, you know, for our, for our team here at Blue Ridge. And, um, you know, we graduated a big class this past year, and he was a reserve guard who was just continued to work, continued to fight. And it was great to see him on this stage, you know, take advantage of that and, and play well, you know, over the course of the two weekends. I thought he did a great job. And then today I was to hit the, the game winner for, uh, for the blue team as they finished out their, um, you know, their two weekends of play, which I was proud of him and everything that he did. Mm -hmm. And talk about the school at Blue Ridge, their tradition here, and talk about what you like about this place and what it means to you. You know, here at the Blue Ridge, Blue Ridge School, tucked away at the base of the Blue Ridge Mountains, um, all boys, you know, all boarding school, kids from all over the world, you know, attend. It's a, it's a great opportunity here to be in a place where with limited distractions. You know, you can really focus on your on your grades. You can really focus on your body. You can really focus on, you know, your game, right? And to try to take that to to the next level. When I when I arrived here eight years ago, there already was a winning uh, winning tradition, and I think I was able to just step in, kind of add my own um, spin to it, and continue the momentum that had been built really, you know, for the last uh, last 20 years before I got here. And so we're we're excited. My family, we love it. We love it here. They. Um, they take good care of us. They you know, are really supportive the, from the administration to the faculty to the staff. Uh, they love their basketball, and uh, we've been able to bring in some uh, some good players and get out there and play. You know, against a competitive schedule year in and year out. And so we're you know we're always just trying to find those guys who you know are are looking for you know for, looking for a change. They want to work. They want to play at the next level, and we do our best to put them in a position to accomplish those goals. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned about putting them in that best position. Talk about your weight program at Blue Ridge because it just the facilities here, it, it, it just blew me away. You know, I think the, the combination, it, it's a college preparatory environment, right? So when you've got a, um, a full-size weight room, right, where you're able to, you know, take care, of your, take care of your body but also to build your body and to get stronger. And then when you have a dining hall, you know, a lot of these guys don't get to take advantage of something like that from a nutritional standpoint until they get to college. And to be able to have a dining hall where you have three all-you-can-eat buffet meals a day, you start to, you know, nutritionally put on, put in the calories and the protein and whatnots that you can, you can gain weight, gain muscle, and really take advantage and change your body. Because, again, we, our goal is to have these players ready so when they step onto a college campus, they can compete from day one. They don't need to worry about um, it's not mom's cooking anymore. They don't need to worry about oh, my roommate smells, they don't need to worry about being away from home, you know, so when they get to school, they can focus on hoops, you know, and hopefully that gives them a leg up and allows them to contribute and compete sooner than other kids because of this college prep environment. Mm -hmm. 
and talk about when it comes to some of the recent graduates. You'll have some viewers on here from Eastern Kentucky, and a lot of the people from Ashland came up and just really enjoyed the facilities and the program. And talk about some of the recent graduates of Blue Ridge that have gone on to the college level because, gosh, your program, I mean, of course, four straight state titles, you'll expect to see some, some players that go on to the next level. But talk about just some of the players that have gone on, some D2, some D1. It's been very impressive. Uh, yeah, we're, we have a unique a unique standpoint um, here in terms of our outlook on on players. We yes, we get we get great players, um, players that want to work and want to get better. That come from families who are very supportive. Um, so the player we have players first of all that helps us to be successful. Um, I have a great uh, coaching staff, um, assistant coaches who pour pour their heart and soul into this school, into these young men, and so guys are getting better you know each and each and every every year it seems like how they can wherever they come in our goal is to take them to that next level whether that's from not being a college player to division three or division three to two or two to one or low division one to high division one and but we've been we've been blessed you know um, in the last eight years you know we've been able to win six state championships and you know we have two guys floating around the NBA right now Mamadi Diakite who uh, graduated in 2015 from Blue Ridge and had a great career at Virginia, won a national championship there and was on a world champion with the Milwaukee Bucks uh, last year. And then Amir Sims, who went on to have a great career at Clemson University, where he was ACC Scholar, of the, Scholar Athlete of the Year his senior year. He's, he played this past year in the G League for the uh, Westchester Knicks, the New York Knicks G League team there. And so those are, you know, guys that have gone on to, you know, now play at the at the professional level. But um, Darius McGee, who was one of the best players in college basketball this past year at Liberty University, um, had uh, we had a great ride, you know, here. Uh, and the list goes on and on. You know, last year Malik Brown, you know, back-to-back -back state player of the year, who is uh, will be a freshman at Syracuse in the fall. But it's not just those those high-level, you know, Division One guys. You know, we have guys that have gone on to lower Division One. And it broke, you know, school records and won championships. Guys have gone to the Division Two level and done the same thing. Guys have gone on Division Three and have had a uh, have a great career. So we're uh, we just want to, you know, give everybody an opportunity to grow, develop, and then put them in the right place to succeed at the next level, whatever that might be. Mm -hmm. Wow! And thank you for your time, Kate. And lastly, are there any shout outs you'd like to give? You know, this this event couldn't have gone on without you know a bunch of hands. You know, first the VISAA. Um, our independent school athletic association they do a great job of supporting this event and making that all you know come together the um, you know just the administration here at the Blue Ridge School that knows the value of having this here they do a, a great job of being supportive from a facility standpoint you know my uh, my assistant coaches and my family who you know they put in a long, long hours you know to make this to make this work but the new twist this year was uh, the Commonwealth basketball group who I know you were able to link up with this year and for them to be able to live stream all the games and then have those games ready on demand for uh, college coaches and players and families to to utilize that has been great and I know the um, you know the play-by-play -play color commentary that was that you you did and others have done over these two weeks have been well received we're excited to uh, you know to have that and hopefully have that be something in the future that we use but they did a great job and I think again just giving these kids another platform to, um, you know, to get out there in front of coaches who might not have been here during this time, but they'll be able to see them on film as well. So it, it was definitely a team effort, but we uh, we got through it. It's not not easy, you know, six six long days you know, over the course of these this week and a half, but we're, um, you know, we thought it was successful. Look forward to next year. Al, thank you. Cade Lemke of Blue Ridge here, and be sure to stay tuned to local providers. This team's a lot of fun to watch, so you get a chance to be sure to watch them this year as for – basketball and we thank you for tuning in today you're watching rolling sports where you meet the athletes see you next time